seed coming out of the Big Ten Conference and didn't get into the tournament. Last year they won 22 games, they were 22 and 12. They have a 32 RPI this season. They're just trying to find their rhythm. They're missing pieces and sometimes that gets you disjointed in terms of your team's rhythm. They'll step through and we have our first bucket a little bit more than two minutes into the quarter. They did a fantastic job in game one earlier on this season of attacking the paint and getting in there early and often, and that's what they're looking to do again. And Rutgers knocking down a three. He'll catch four of the five points for the Wolverines. Varejao swings it to Nolan. It's an open Johnson for three. Uh, Kenrick Johnson has been on fire the last six games. Hillman with five on the shot clock. She glanced up, she saw it, put it on the floor, and a perfect swipe for Garantes. Sanders in transition. Giles the trailer. Knocks it a triple. Brown tried the baseball pass. Kaiser had leaked out, but didn't get there. Garantes. Well, that was a tough take to the rim, but they have to continue to attack. Sanders slides through the defense, puts it up and in. 12 of 13 games before the last two. Yeah, once she gets that 400th assist, it'll be the 10th player in program history to do so. Cedor knocks down the three. Wallace back in the game. Hillman took one on the face. Battling through, and a Kenray Johnson. It's blocked by Jordan Wallace. May have been close to that third foul on that second shot. Garantes, beautiful leave for Giles. The foul is on the screener, but she's going to get marked for the foul for sure. But it's really the patience or lack thereof by Garantes. Giles stepped in the passing lane, lays it in for two. Garantes has six here in the opening half. Davenport, good find. It's an open three again for Giles. How do you change this? Right, We can talk about Rutgers and their defensive intensity. You still have to go at it. Well, that's what you do. You attack the pressure. One minute to go here in the half. Dilk trying to get the foul. Then gets the offensive rebound and the putback. Amy Dilk has got eight here in the half. They also have to strike often in the paint. And they've got to get Nas Hillman some touches and get her going. Well, the effort was there to get in the paint right away. Yep. Dilk the facilitator. Trying to find Hillman. Lost the basketball, so turnover's the problem in the first half. Early on here as well. Brown plays back. Nolan covered baseline. Johnson ripped it out of there from Giles. Michigan has to do a good job of just getting to the counter moves and getting to the next player available. Haley Brown. Had a new category for assists. Inadvertent. An inadvertent screen assist. The ISA here at the rack. How about the... Johnson trying to shut down Garantes. The Mac, the option on the drive. Floats it in. You know, with Nas Hillman not being 100%, it really makes it tough because she averages 17 a game. Takia Mack with the massive triple. I mean, her energy, we were talking about that to begin the game. Garantes, she's got three. 20 points for Arella Garantes one more time. Confidence and rhythm. I mean, you want to be playing well at this point in the season, and Michigan right now is just not finding any continuity. Off the inbounds, Garantes falling towards the baseline, hits again. Steps through. <laughs> Takia Mack rattles it in again. Illinois comes to town later this week. Because the reality here, Christy, here is they go down low and the finish for Kaiser. Garantes will hold 24 points to lead all scores. Her 11th 20-point game of the season and a 21-point victory here at home for the Scarlet Knights.